Hello everybody, I hope you're really, really well and safe and uh, keeping the family safe. Oh my God, it's really difficult times now. It's not just difficult uh, in India, it's difficult all over the world. So um, I hope you're all taking your necessary precautions and wearing your masks. I know I've been seeing so many videos where people say masks are not that important. But um, I refuse to let go of it. Um, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Constantly washing your hand and sanitizing it, you know. And um, I use my Dettol um, hand wash. And just washing it like that is not enough. You have to go between your digits and clean it out nice and proper. You know, I am actually going to make my own hand sanitizer because uh, hand sanitizer is the most difficult thing to come by these days. I've got so many aloe plants out there and I'm going to share my recipe with you uh, today, tomorrow or day after I'm, I will post on it. You know, um, taking care of yourself and your health, there is so much information out there. Taking care of your skin, your scalp and your hair, not much information out there. So is why constantly I pick, I mean people write to me in every single day, I get hundreds of messages and mails and and telling me what their problems are and I've been picking and choosing all the important uh, reasons and most of it people lose their confidence they um, you know they don't want to meet people they don't want to um, they just want to stay at home because their under eyes are so dark or the pigmentation has gotten out of hand all these reasons are the reasons why I um, pick and choose these uh, difficult uh, phases that people go through and try to give you remedies to battle that. Recently, this little girl had written in and told me, Oh my God, Ambika ma'am, thank you for giving my mother back her confidence. Her pigmentation is completely gone. Her fine lines around her eyes have completely vanished because she used two of the products that you have said. One is the vit uh, vitamin C serum for the pigmentation and, and the, uh, the hyaluronic acid cream for the, um, you know, the lines around her eyes and the fine lines all over and I was like so happy to read that message you know so I asked her I said do you think your mom or you could do a video so everybody can hear what you have to say she said uh, both of us are very shy ma'am so we can't so people are shy I am not <laughs> I come in front of you and talk about these things uh, because I think it will help you a lot um, you know I the vitamin C uh, serum is Something that is so powerful and so important to get your measurements just correct. I have said this so many times on how to make the vitamin 20% vitamin C serum and still people are getting it wrong. So it's half a teaspoon of the powder, two tablespoons of sterile water, which you can get from any chemist. Now, um, if you've got very oily skin, no vegetable glycerin. If your skin is normal to dry, you can use vegetable glycerin. Alright, so this is how you make your serum. People write in and say, ma'am, but my serum is clear even after 10 days, 15 days. It's, going, it's not turning color, nothing. Listen, please understand, there is no preservative in your serum. So you cannot keep it for more than 7 days. Make a new batch every week. Now for the very lazy ones, once in 10 days. But beyond that, please don't. And if you're going to misuse this serum, don't use it at all. But the kind of goodness and clear skin that it, you can get from it is just beyond uh, measure because it, it really does work wonders. But also remember, the serum is not a moisturizing product. It is for clear skin. It takes out the dark spots. In. And you need your moisturizing products to go along with uh, you know your skincare regime you need a cleanser you need your serums you need your um, You know your creams you need your scrubs your packs is the reason why I have brought out a certain line for you to choose from Also your um, the gels are moisturizing gels for people who cannot touch um, oil or cream free, uh, cream based products so if you've got acne prone skin and if you, are, you sweat a lot and if you get pimples just choose the moisturizing gels. I've given you two of them to choose from. Yeah. And uh, if your skin is dry, normal to dry and you need more moisture, please pick up and choose your, your creams. And um, I think you should be absolutely fine. 
Now, uh, how to store your vitamin C? I got this message the other day, but this girl said, "Ma'am, I can't find a big dark glass bottle to ch to store the the powder in. Listen, the powder just needs to go into an airtight container. You don't just because I'm showing you this. This is not what you need to get. If you get it, perfect. But otherwise, any airtight container." And as long as it's not exposed to the light, it's not exposed to the elements, even if it is just left open and uh, the, you know, uh, it's exposed to this light, any, not the sunlight, any kind of light, it'll start turning color, starts oxidizing, it'll do more harm to you than good. So be extremely careful how you store your products, how you make your products. Also, you know, recently age is catching up to me. It is catching up with me. And uh, when I see my pictures from last year, I see pictures this year, I'm like, oh my God, what's happening to me? There are people still who say, ma'am, I want skin just like yours. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, just look after your own skin and get really clear skin. But recently I saw this little pigmentation on my, my uh, upper cheekbone and I was like, oh my God, what is happening? Because I actually love exposing myself to the sun. I need the vitamin D so desperately. So I, I spend a lot of time out in the sun. And because of it, pigmentation happens mostly because of um, the, the sun. And uh, hereditary, ma'am, I'm not, uh, hereditary wise, I don't think this is because of that. But uh, the sun, yeah, probably. So what I do is I do spot treatments for places that, you know, I, I get very uh, terrible under eye dark circles when I'm stressed, when I'm sick. And uh, my under eye products, the gel during the day and the cream at night has worked wonders for me. It's cleared so much. But pigmentation, <laughs> I was getting really hectic about it. I preach so much and I pra don't practice enough. So I started practicing it. Yeah, I started, you know, now I'm going to do something about this. So I have, I'm just going to show you what I do, yeah, in a little bowl, my aqua power, take a little bit of aqua power and, yeah, I've taken it on both the sides, you know, all these little cotton pads and everything that comes, you really don't know if it is 100% cotton or not and I get really hectic with these things, yeah. So this cotton pad, these cotton balls are 100% cotton, yeah? And I do spot treatments. So I have taken my Aqua Power and my vitamin C powder. I am not going to put my fingers into this. So I'm going to take a little bit out. And in the container, take one pinch, one pinch and dissolve it. It becomes water immediately. It becomes not water, it becomes watery immediately. Okay, taking my cotton pads. I love doing spot treatments because I don't think every single area needs uh, whatever you're doing to the one area that is the problematic area so soak it nice and proper and take it it's so well beautifully soaked and put it where you need to so I put it close to my eyes and where my pigmentation is which has just showed up which I hope goes really fast and of course I don't do this standing up I lie down you know, I play games on my phone. No one game. Uh, Wordscape. If anybody's on Wordscape, let me know. Because I am really good at it. <laughs> and I'll tell you which level I'm on. So I play, I answer messages, everything. I keep this on for a good 25 to 30 minutes. And then I know it's done its job. Now listen, any if it's like really burning or anything, you've taken too much of your vitamin C powder. It, a little bit of tingling is fine. I feel really good when I use this because the goodness of that aloe is just brilliant. I mean, the, ag the aqua power is just full of aloe in it. So I just love using it and it just does wonders. So I'm going to quickly run you through how to use these products. 
uh, you use your spot treatment once a week please don't overdo anything yeah so cleanse your face i use both my cleansers on alternate days i use my lime cleanser and my golden saffron cleanser i cleanse my face i use my vitamin c without fail the vitamin c serum and that's probably why the skin has stayed uh, pretty uh, clear all these uh, years and months and uh, and i actually like it to get fully absorbed i don't like to put my hyaluronic acid serum on top of that i just let this happen the vitamin c serum get fully absorbed 5 minutes later i take my aqua power or my golden saffron take a little bit a little bit goes a long way yeah put it on my face and before it gets fully absorbed use my hyaluronic acid serum now the new and improved hyaluronic acid serum i can feel the pull on my forehead the forehead skin is the toughest skin on your face i mean the pull around your face uh, the eyes and everything you feel it but when you feel the pull on your forehead you know that this this is good stuff and it's bigger bottle i'm really thrilled and um, you know so that's that's the way you use it now no serum do you use when you go out in the sun it oxidizes and will get you looking darker than clearer your skin so please avoid all serums when you go out in the sun you need to use your serums use it at night your serums are not moisturizing agents so uh, products so if you are using your serums and you still have dry skin please use your creams <laughs> because uh, well during summers i cannot use my um, cream you know i use my cream the hyaluronic acid cream at night summer winter everything because ac is on but uh, my during the day when i'm stepping out it's either the hyaluronic um, uh, acid serum that goes on for sure my vitamin c definitely hyaluronic acid serum and on top of that i use i mean just underneath that i use my gel so it stays nice and moisturized so you you choose your moisturizing gels if you've got very oily skin if you're prone to sweating and if you get acne and pimples just choose your moisturizing gels if you've got normal to dry skin use your creams okay so i am going to uh, uh, you know show you a post of how to make your hand sanitizer with the aloe vera uh, gel i'm really excited because i haven't shown you how to make things in a long time i was just thinking the other day oh my god there was a time that i used to show you how to make everything under the earth so this is an opportunity that i look forward to i hope you all really look after yourselves this is a tough time and we are going through tough difficult times stay safe everybody and and just look after your loved ones and yourself bye bye i'll see you soon